there's this one kid I remember back in the back in like grade grade one, two, and three, yo. This nigga, anybody that went to Jesse Ketchum knows knows exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> there's this one nigga, I'm not gonna say what year. There's this one nigga that smelled like piss and oatmeal. Damn! Piss and oatmeal. Damn! Piss and oatmeal. Damn! Like, it was, I was like, yo, buddy, every fucking time I'm around you, you smell like piss and oatmeal cookies. I don't know why, just piss and oatmeal cookies. Because, yo, for some reason, this nigga loved oatmeal cookies, so always had oatmeal cookies on him. But I think, I don't know, I think he wets his pants or something. But growing up as a youth, you don't really know that. You just look at it like, yo, why is this kid always like smelling like piss, yo? And then like in like behind closed scenes, you know, like talking shit behind 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 someone's back. Me, I used to say shit to people's faces. But I don't remember saying shit to his face, but I just remember that distinct smell. Anyways, kids, children, they can be very disrespectful, is what I'm saying. Like if high school's worse because high school you're way more creative. That's why you when you get bullied in high school, that shit hurts more cuz one the hormones and shit and two niggas get creative with the with the disses. So these kids these days, right? I'm thinking to myself, you know, nowadays kids are more mature. Remember I went on that rant, I think kids are more mature nowadays. Da, 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 da. Well, guess what, dog? Chris Paul went on a he went on a freaking um, what you call it a podcast I think it was the Pivot podcast. Anyways, he went on there and he started talking about um, him not having a ring and thing, you know. So he's talking about him not having a ring and thing. Yo, <laughs> okay. oh, call the blind. <laughs> Embarrassing. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, my bad. Hold on. No, but we're here. Hold that, hold that. I have to, I have to, I'm trying to get, I got to get that whole sound clip. Just the sound clip. I forgot about this one. Hold on. Yo, oh, okay. oh, call the blind. <laughs> Embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> Embarrassing. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Anyways, there we go. Embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> I found it. I found it. Embarrassing. <laughs> so yeah, he was talking about that, and then um, how he doesn't have a ring and all this shit, and then now he's like, "Yo, it affects my kids, right?" Hold on, daughter. So his daughter goes to school, and this is what happened. Like my daughter is the sweetest soul you'll ever meet in your life, right? The sweetest soul ever in your life, but she's at that age now where at school, kids talk crazy to her. Right, so she had a little boy, whatever, at school that said some reckless stuff to her. It was like, your daddy ain't never gonna win no championship, right? And my baby Embarrassing. was so, <laughs> she's special. She'll hold it together there, but when she got in the car, she called and she was upset. Yeah. And I had to have that conversation with her and talk to her, you know, and tell her like, baby, some people talk and some people do. Like my- So, shout out to Chris Paul for being a father at that. You have to be a good, you know, that, that, was, that was some good advice, you know what I mean? However, Yo, I'm going to school and a nigga dissing, roasting your father, dog. Embarrassing. And then, and then as a man, you kind of have to be the bigger person. Like, yo, I'd be so cheesed, yo. Oh man. Whatever. <laughs> so that happened, and I was gonna say, what would you do in that situation? Because sometimes some of these kids, I would, I would, I would teach my kid how to roast back. But if you're going to teach your kid how to roast back, you got to teach your kid how to fight too, yo. Because <laughs> some kids, I remember this shit. Grade seven, two, two people are going back and forth, back and forth. And they're, they're both firing, right? This shit is hilarious. It was one of those moments where even the teacher was like, all right, I'm going to let these guys just, just let it out, right? And because what they were saying was so creative and funny that it was like, yo, you have to let this, this, we're on, this is a one-time, once-in-a-lifetime chance where the energy's flowing, everyone's laughing and shit. So my one boy hits him with the haymaker, dog. He said some shit like, that's why you don't get no bitches, some shit like that. 
Yo, the nigga got cheese. He got up from his seat and tried to fight the nigga. We, everyone was holding him back. And then the nigga tried to throw a chair at him. I was dying, yo. My nigga got sent to the office. They had to send him to the office, yo. Because, yo, the other nigga, he got caught slipping, dog, yo. He hit him with the embarrassing <laughs> And my boy was ready to fight. He's like, yo, let's go right now. I'm going to fight you right now. But no, nah, it didn't happen. It didn't happen. It didn't happen. These kids, get, the, yo, if a kid came up to my kid and said that, I'd have to teach my, first off, have to teach my kid how to, how to shoot back. Second off, like how to shoot back properly. Sometimes embarrassing the person doesn't really do that much. You're better off. Saying something that's so funny that even the person that you hit can't really, they can't really hit you back. You know what I mean? You got to hit them with those type of haymakers. A liver punch, if you will. A, J- a Javante Davis, a the tank liver punch. One of them. A pop. 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 One time. Shitty form, but who cares? Anyways, so... <laughs> yo... <laughs> Embarrassing <laughs> Yo this is my new fucking My new fucking word yo I was at work <laughs> I I fucked up or I dropped I dropped something and I was like ha Embarrassing <laughs> uh, People are on point Cause people knew exactly where that came from People were laughing dog I, All I heard was this in the back <laughs> I was like I see you my nigga Salute to you Salute to you. Cap. No, I'm not capping, bro. It happened. And even if it didn't, you'd never know. So, yeah, uh, Chris Paul. And, oh, yeah, that's the reason why I even talked about this. Chris Paul got waived by the Phoenix Suns. Now, I'm going to quickly fact check this because this is something that you can fact check. But, yeah, so he got waived. Yeah. The Golden State Warriors would be interested in signing him. Now, I don't know what to say because Chris Paul always gets, he keeps getting injured. So the fact that he keeps getting injured, I think it really stunts. He's going to be an off the bench point guard. He, if, he, if he plays off the bench, then he can do damage with the team if he can play off the bench. But knowing him, he's going to want to start. But he should play off the bench. So Chris Paul got waived, but that video of him not having a ring and his daughter saying that, oh, your your dad will never win a championship. And then the next week or the next few days he gets waived. I'm like, yo, that sucks, bro. And whoever the, whoever whoever decided to waive him after that clip went viral. This is a sick Negro. I'm like, yo, that's sick. Whatever. Life moves on sometimes, you know, but like that sucks. 